Hello there guys and welcome to the Kuwait Pilot channel. Today we are going to be taking a look at Charts Finder 3. If you are looking for a Navigraph alternative, this could be the application for you. Before we begin taking a look at Charts Finder 3, please do note that I have been a loyal subscriber to Navigraph since 2015. I have their entire range of products and pay their premium subscription fee. Charts Finder 3 is a Navigraph alternative that comes at a lower cost but also less features. You will find Charts Finder useful if you're on a budget or you do not wish to invest in an ongoing subscription. So let's take a look at Charts Finder 3 and all its features. Charts Finder is available today at the Just Flight store for a one time fee of $20.09. It features support for more than 100 countries. I highly recommend that you do look over the supported countries before you make a purchase. Charts are downloaded from the official AIP for each country. AIP stands for Aeronautical Information Publication. The app resources are updated regularly for every AIRAX cycle. Custom resources can be also added if needed with various options supported. You are also able to automatically update old downloaded charts. Let us now take a look at the features of Charts Finder 3. As you can see, I have already downloaded the charts for London Heathrow Airport. One of the things you'll notice is that Charts Finder 3 will group all the airports under their corresponding country, in this case, the United Kingdom. Let's go ahead and click on London Heathrow. As you can see, I have now all the charts related to London Heathrow Airport directly from the country's AIP. Let's take a look, for example, at the instrument approach chart here. We are looking at the approach chart for the localizer DME runway 27 right at London Heathrow. As you can see, the charts are very clear, they're readable, they're sharp and crisp. You can zoom in to 150% for better readability. And as you can see, the charts have all the required information that you will need for your flight planning. In order to download airport charts, you can either enter one ICO code in the box provided here or several separated by spaces. Let's take an example. We are going to enter London Gatwick, Echo Gulf Kilo Kilo, and then we're going to enter Echo Gulf Tango Kilo. And now we're going to hit on download charts. As you can see, it is now searching for all the charts. Now we have the option of selecting all the charts so we can select all or select none. And then you can select the ones that you want for that specific airport. For London Heathrow, we're going to select this chart and the second one below it. You can scroll down and now we're going to hit on download. As you can see now, we have downloaded the two charts for London Gatwick. Next, we are going to take a look at the available charts for Echo Golf Tango Kilo. From this one, we are going to select all of the available charts and select Download. And now we have all the charts for London Oxford Airport. You will now notice that London Gatwick, London Heathrow and London Oxford Airport are all part of the charts downloaded for the United Kingdom. Let us now try, for example, Kilo Foxtrot Alpha Tango, which is Fresno Yosemite International Airport in the state of California in the United States. We're going to select download charts. And as you can see now, we have all the available charts for Fresno Yosemite International. We're going to go ahead and select select all and download. The settings menu of Charts Finder 3 is accessible through the edit menu. We're going to select settings. From the settings menu, you can toggle the application theme from dark to light. You can also specify your preferred charts folder location. You can also select which charts to download, which we have seen earlier in the video. You can also add the airport code to the chart file name as you've seen in the charts that we've downloaded. 
You can also open the charts immediately after download. You can wait three seconds between each airport and you can update the old charts automatically when either searching for them or when starting the app. Alternatively, you can update the chart simply by going to the edit menu and select update old charts. You can also refresh the resources to make sure that you have the most recent view in your charts finder application view. From this view, you can also expand everything and you can collapse everything. And as you can see now, we have the United States and the United Kingdom with the corresponding charts for the airports that we have downloaded. Although Charts Finder 3 lacks integration with third-party add-ons, which is a huge advantage of Navigraph 3, I still believe that it is a suitable alternative for those of you who are on a budget or do not wish to make an ongoing investment in Navigraph or alternate charts programs. This is all I wanted to share with you in this short video. I hope that you find it useful and insightful. If you have any questions, please do post them in the comment section below. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for tuning in, and bye-bye for now.